Hey everybody, it's Tom from MC Things, and today I'm going to show you how to move information from your MC modules into a really great cloud dashboard uh, application where you can actually visualize that data. And so we're working with a great partner of ours, a company called Lasant. And Lasant has created a really cool IoT application. It's really easy to use. And again, it's not just bringing in information to visualize and graph, but they've taken it a step further where they allow you to create workflows, which in turn create events, allow you to create alerts, so you can be alerted through email, text, uh, tweets. There's all sorts of different ways to do that. And so if you're a uh, do-it-yourselfer or if you're a company and you're just starting some proof of concepts or a pilot they have really great pricing it gives you up to 10 devices free um, if you are a business and you want to start getting into IOT and showcasing data on a dashboard for your information uh, for employees or even for clients um, maybe it's information you want to use to to make some important business decisions Lasant is a great way to do that and of course using the MC modules to gather that information and push it into this uh, application is a, is a great uh, combination and finally if you're an integrator, if you're somebody who is, works in IoT or wants to get into IoT, has some great ideas, um, look at getting hardware from us. Look at using Lasant as an option to showcase your data. Um, they have some cool ways that you can actually white label dashboards and, and start to really work with them at, at their enterprise level. So check out their website, www.lasant.com. And again, today what we're going to do is uh, put together some code. We'll slam that into a module, we'll push that information out into a dashboard. We'll, we'll show you how you can create a, a nice little widget and visualize that information. And then at the end of the video, I'll we'll walk through a really cool dashboard we put together with all sorts of information coming in from MC modules into this uh, Lasant application. And it should give people an idea of what great ideas you can do out there in terms of the information you can gather with the modules and how you can display that and provide a lot of value either to your clients or to yourself as a business. So let's check this out. Okay, so the next step we have to do is set up devices, set up gateways within the Lasant application. So you're going to want to go ahead and sign up for an account so you can get going on this. The next thing you're going to want to read is this Getting Started with MC Things and Lasant guide that uh, Teron Foxworth from Lasant put together. Um, did a great job, goes through how to set up a module, set up a gateway, provides uh, some example code to measure temperature and voltage, and at the end even uh, shows you how to visualize that data within a graph. So we'll link to this um, in our forum and stuff, but definitely you want to read this alongside the video. And we're going to basically do the same thing today. So I already have an account and I've got multiple devices. I'm going to add one more. This is a new device and it's going to be the spare bedroom and I'm just going to record the uh, UID just to help myself um, keep track of what's going on here with uh, different modules so I know what the IDs are and which locations. Now how the MC Things platform works is that an MC gateway is plugged in, it creates the MC Air network. Any modules within range of that gateway can relay the information they have through to the cloud via that gateway. So in that sense, a module is actually a peripheral when it comes to Lasant, and it relays its information through a gateway. So that's how we're going to set it up here. This one is a peripheral of this upstairs gateway, and uh, you can get some more information in the, in the Getting Started Guide uh, that I pointed out there. Next thing we're looking at is the device attributes. So this is the information that the modules are publishing to Lasant, and so this is the, the details that I'm interested in finding out. So in this case, I am measuring temperature, and I am also measuring battery voltage. Now keep in mind these are case sensitive, and I'll show you that in the code next. These attribute names need to match the information that you have in your code, okay? So now we're gonna create the device and it's all done. It does give me a device ID. This is unique to this device and it's important for the code. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna go into MC Studio here and I already, of course, have some code written. First thing I'm, I'm gonna do though is go and connect to a device. So I'm gonna go connect to that gateway that I, I've set that uh, device up to talk to or the module up to talk to. And here it is right here. I'm gonna connect to it. And while we're waiting for that, we'll walk through the code here quickly. So you can modify this code. I also have some variations of this we'll post in the forum that'll help you do all sorts of cool stuff within Lasant. So I've set up the beacon time. I changed it to 120 seconds. That's your choice if you want to or not. The device ID I just copied, this goes into this line here and this is um, defines which device this information is coming from. So I'm just gonna paste that. And the last thing I'll mention is we're checking the temperature every 59 seconds. Remember how I said case sensitive. So in terms of what I'm sending in uh, to Lasant through the module, I'm 
I have temperature with a capital T and it's the same at name I wrote in my attributes when I when I set up the device same thing goes for battery voltage I'm gonna check that every five minutes and here's my attribute battery voltage capital B capital V just want to point out make sure that you have everything together because they are case sensitive so now that um, I've got all my code ready to go, I'm connected to my device up here. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna load. And that's that, that device is now disconnected. So the next thing we need to do is go back into Lasant and set up some information on getting the widgets and displaying the information that's coming from that spare bedroom. So let's go check that out. Okay, so now we're at the fun part of this video, which is actually adding blocks to a dashboard and visualizing the data that's coming from those modules on my dashboard. So I've created a blank one here. I'm gonna go add a block and I'm gonna pick a gauge. I'm gonna go and start this with the spare bedroom temp. And this way I can see the, the temperature of that module that's reporting in that spare bedroom right now. I'm gonna pick as a number gauge, last data point received. I'm gonna pick this spare bedroom. The label is gonna be Celsius and I'm gonna choose the temperature attribute. So I add that block and we can see the last time I reported 21.38 and it's expected to report again in a few seconds. So it's really, really easy to set these uh, blocks up. Again, you can change sizes, do all sorts of different things, add these different graphs and so on and so forth. So we've put together a, a dashboard that has a whole bunch of different modules reporting in and, and graphing and measuring variables against each other. So we'll quickly go through this. Um, here's one of all the mo mostly all the modules in this house right now. You can see here in Cochrane, Alberta, we got probably close to minus 30 for about a week. Um, so we had a pretty cold snap there, but you can see the, the rest of the house temperatures actually stayed pretty much consistent. So even with really, really cold weather, uh, it does look like my house is actually insulated properly. So that's a uh, good news. Um, throughout the rest of the dashboard, we have all sorts of other different ways of measuring or comparing or showcasing the data. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of blocks showing me the last and real time information that's coming out of those modules in terms of temperature another way of displaying or visualizing it. We also have all the battery voltages coming in from the modules so we can look at those over time and compare them. Some interesting one is looking at uh, temperature versus uh, the voltages in the batteries and even with that cold spell the, the batteries lasted pretty well. That's the nice uh, lithium coin cell batteries uh, doing well in cold weather. Other different ways to showcase the data, you can do gauges, you can use percentages, you can do blocks that will change color and give you alerts um, when you know things are critical for you to know. It's really nice to do that. Um, this is a really fun part here. We set up some modules to detect open and closed and also send a count of those events to Lasant. So you can see here all these doors are closed right now, but you can also see how many times they were opened um, over a certain period of time and I have some of those graphs going to show me those types of comparison. Um, refrigerator temperature, have a, a alert here telling me that it's just suboptimal right now, it's just outside of the range. So keep an eye on that and see if my fridge uh, is working properly. And lastly, related to another YouTube video we did, which was a soil moisture sensor attached to an MC module. Um, we have one of those working, it's telling me the plants it's, it's in right now is watered, it's in optimal growing temperature, and I can actually also see the temperature, um, ambient temperature around that plant. So what I want to point out here just before I let you all go is the if you're getting into IoT, if you're a business, if you're in an industry or you're an integrator and you want to start showcasing data, using MC Things alongside with Lasant is a great way to do this. Um, you know, if you imagine if you're in the agricultural uh, you know, industry and you're in a growing in a greenhouse, how valuable would it be to have information of humidity, temperature, uh, soil moisture, and all of that relaying onto a real live dashboard showing you all, all that information. Um, you also got to think, you know, in uh, cold chain management, grocery stores, uh, restaurants, all that type of stuff to get information on is a specific door closed? Is that freezer door closed or are we, is it getting too warm and we're going to spoil food or other uh, you know, product that we have in there? So you know, IoT can go into all sorts of different industries and using an application like Lasant to express that, that data, save that data, use it for an analysis and visualize it is a great way to actually get value out of that information that's coming out of, of the modules.
So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, it's a great way, a great tool to use. We will post all this information into the forum. And I'm also hoping you will join us on the forum so you can access the forum via our website, connect with us at the MC Things team. You can also connect with other users in our community. Go ahead and post us a, an example of the dashboards you've set up through Lasant. Uh, we're, we'd be excited to see them. And finally, please uh, follow us on social media. We're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're all over the place. Uh, we do want to hear from you and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that and you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.